First thing I'm going to start out with is a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and it's cut at 4 by 3. We're going to go ahead and just stamp our image, and I'm going to use, as soon as I find what I did with it here, I'm going to use the <clears throat> Owl and the Tree from the House of Haunts stamp, and I'm just going to stamp it onto my Whisper White cardstock with some black ink. And I'm going to stamp it towards the left hand side. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the technique first and then we're just going to go ahead and make the card. So you just stamp your image in black anywhere you want it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a scrap piece of cardstock or you could use a post-it note, um, whatever you want. I'm going to use a scrap piece of cardstock. And this card stock's a little bit wider than two inches. It's like two and a half wide. And I'm going to use the one and three quarter inch circle punch. And all I'm going to do is punch a circle somewhere in the middle of that piece of paper. Now I like to cut my paper a little bit wider just so I have a little bit of space on each side. Um, because if you get it too narrow, if you're sponging around it, you could end up going over your mask. So, basically what we're going to do is we just kind of created a mask. Um, and we're going to lay it down and then we're just going to sponge within the mask. Or a template. You could kind of think it's like you're making a template. The other way you can do masking is you could take that circle you punched out and you could put that down over something. And then say you wanted to sponge around it. When you took that circle off, then you would have that image behind it that would be white. But for today's project, we're going to go ahead and use the circle as a mask to just mask the one area that we're going to sponge. I hope that makes sense. I have no idea. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go ahead and you have your image stamped on the cardstock. Go ahead and place your mask over it where you want your circle to be, basically. And what I'm going to do is basically just sponge a circle behind the owl and the tree to kind of make it look like a moon. And I'm going to use uh, the new core color Daffodil Delight. And I'm just going to use a little wedge of sponge. And you're just going to sponge up or ink up your sponge. And then you're just going to hold your mask in place and you're just going to sponge around. The other way you can do this is you could use a stippling brush as well. Um, you could also color in with any pretty much any medium. I like to use a sponge because you can control how deep your color is. Like if you want to have subtle shading, like you could have lighter, darker. Like you see here, I have a little bit darker. Over here, it's a little lighter. So I kind of like want to come in and keep it dark where my shadows would be. That's what I like about the sponging um, with this technique. So you can really control how you want it lighter or dark. Then you just take your mask off and then you're left with the moon behind it. Close up your ink pad when you're done. Alright, so that's going to be our main focal image on our card. Now, my card stock, um, this piece was cut at four wide by three high. So go ahead and set that aside. We're going to take a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of card stock. This is old olive, and what I did is I cut it in half, and then I'm just going to fold it in half again to make my card base. And this is your standard A2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make my card. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. But listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. Just a 
jump to the left. And then a step to the right. With your hands on your hips. You can't see me. No, not at all. In another dimension, with voyeuristic intention. Well secluded, I see all. With a bit of a mind flip, you're into the time slip, and nothing can ever be the same. You're my startled sensation, like you're under. to the left.